What is up, party people? Today in this video, I'll walk you through how to use the Bolt platform to create stunning AI websites. Bolt.new is an AI platform that allows you to create websites, apps, or virtually anything you can think of by just generating a prompt. The beauty of this platform is there's no limits on how creative you can get. So in this Bolt AI tutorial, I'll walk you through a three-step process. We'll first start with something simple, like a website. First, we will start with something really simple. We'll start with a blank canvas. I'll then show you how to refine the design, add in your own content, and publish something that actually looks good. In step two, we'll create an application. I'll walk you through how to create an application that you can use right now for your own business. We can make changes, customize the app, and adjust it however you would like. And lastly, I'll walk you through more of the advanced prompts. I'll walk you through how to create a website that really pushes the limits of AI. I'll show you how to create complex prompts with stunning designs in just a few minutes. Now you can get started with Bolt completely for free just to try it out. So there is a link in the description that'll take you to Bolt where you can make a free account and then start making some AI websites. Okay, and this is the Bolt website. Now the domain is bolts.new. It's kind of a weird domain, but that's what they chose to go with, right? Now with this website, you can create websites and apps all generated with AI. Now let's start with something very simple, right? Now I'm just gonna give you an idea of what goes on here and then we'll build from there. So for example, make me a website for my dog. Right, and then I'll go ahead and generate the website. And what this will do is that it'll just generate a website for basically dogs. All right, and here we go. So now we have this uh, dog website, right? So you'll see that we have Meet Buddy. And uh, here we go. We had a website for a dog, right? We have some pictures of uh, dogs, right? We have a photo gallery. We have some fun facts and also a get in touch section. So pretty basic, right? Pretty standard, but that's a quick way on how you can use this to create, you know, something really simple. Now, if you want to make more complex websites that go into detail, that's where we're going to go over to ChatGPT. So let's do that. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to get the AI familiar with this specific uh, application, right? So are you familiar? with the bolts.new websites. Okay, and then ChatGPT just gave us like a quick summary about Bolt and they talked about what it is, who's it for, examples about it, pros and cons, etc. Now, I always like to do this because again, I like to familiarize the AI with what I'm talking about because then it gives me better results. So now let's ask it to create something more descriptive, right? So over here, I'm gonna ask anything. I'm gonna put, I wanna create a website using this platform. Create me a prompt that is very detailed and descriptive for a web design agency. Be as detailed as possible. And then ChatGPT is gonna give us a descriptive prompt that we can use for bolts. We're gonna copy that. Now, what I do recommend is do not actually start over from the same tab. Always open up a new browser. This will produce better results because what I've noticed with these AI tools is it usually kind of carries over some of the design and some of the um, you know, fonts and colors from the previous design. So I always want to start fresh. So I'll open up a new tab right here and I'm going to paste this in now. So this is a much more descriptive um, prompt as you can tell, right? So here I'll click on generates. Okay, and just like that, you'll see it has now generated a really nice looking website with a little bit more detail as you can tell. So here we have a landing page. We have some call to action buttons. We have these little, uh, you know, upsells or whatever. Featured projects. Scroll down, we have some testimonials and our footer here at the bottom. So overall, like you can really create a decent looking website. Now, many of you are probably thinking to yourself, the site's great and everything, but how do I further modify this, right? Because a lot of this doesn't really apply to us. A lot of it's demo content. Let me walk you through on how to do that. Now, the first thing that you can do is here on the right side, we have some options. So the first option is full screen. This is where you can get like a, you know, a full screen preview of what your website actually looks like. Now, right here, we have the inspector elements. Now, let's say for instance, you wanna change something on your website. So here, click on the inspector, right? And then what we can do is we can go throughout the website, right? So uh, let's say for instance, we wanna change this landing page title. So right here, I'll put, can you change this to how to make a WordPress websites and then i'll uh here then please keep the colors the same okay with the ai you got to get really descriptive so what i've noticed here is when you do actually give it commands or you tell it to do something else you need to really like tell it exactly what to do because uh sometimes it'll give you different fonts or different colors but uh here we go now see what i should have done here 
Now you're understanding this. I should have said, uh, capitalize the first letter of every word, right? So you really gotta be descriptive, right? But you get the point. So what you can do here is you can go throughout the website and make any modifications you want using the inspector elements. So here we have a featured project section. Now let's say for instance, you wanna actually turn one of these into one of your real projects. So what we're gonna do here is I'll click on the inspector elements and I'm just gonna wing it right now. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these um, boxes and I'm going to put something like sure to create a button to link to DaryWilson.com. Okay, there we go. So if they do generate you specific sections, you can always go ahead and improve upon those sections. Uh, you can also take those buttons and link them to anywhere you want. Okay, so it went ahead and updated and I'll click on this little uh, Daryl Wilson. And now if I make this full screen, let's go ahead and make this full screen and actually view it from here. Uh, if I click on Daryl Wilson, you'll see it creates this pop-up. And if I, you know, click on darylwilson.com, and now it takes me to my website, right? So you can go ahead and keep building and expanding on the AI. Maybe you wanted like an image of Daryl Wilson's website or an image of a client's website. You can actually link it, right? So to further kind of keep going on it, you can go ahead and click on this again, click on this image, and then maybe uh, upload an image. So you can upload files. So here I'll put upload files. So I put an image of my website and I says, can you you use this for the featured image and also show it on the pop-up all right so here is a picture of my website i actually had to use a link image and then it actually it worked and if i click on this you'll also see that there's an image of me it's not the best image but i'm just giving you an example right so you can go ahead and go throughout your website and make further modifications to it to every part of your website now let's go ahead and take a look at some of these controls. So here we have this responsive mode. Here you can go ahead and look at what your website looks like visually on the actual uh, mobile device. You can also switch between different devices. You can also instruct the AI to fix mobile preview. So if there's something that didn't work out or if it looks weird, you can always ask the AI to optimize your website for all devices. Now here at the bottom, we have some more options. So here we have a prompt library. So here we have prompts and you can use these prompts in order to enhance your websites. So so for instance, um, you can use this for like SEO. So the image that we uploaded might have not been titled properly and that's not good for SEO. So what you can do here is you can ask the AI to audit your entire website, update the images for SEO. You can also use this for usability. And then also they have some options like implement dark mode, right? So here, dark mode implementation. I'll go ahead and insert this. And bam, now we have this, uh, toggle dark mode where now we can toggle between dark mode. I mean, this is so cool. Like, I just love the fact that you can just easily create something very complex in a matter of seconds. Now, if you use WordPress, you probably know that you have to install a plugin. It conflicts with the theme. It conflicts with all this other crap. But with this, it's like, it just works. You know, I love that, right? Now, the last feature I wanna show you all is something called discuss mode. So right now we're building our website, right? But you might wanna ask the AI, well, like, how can I make this look better, right? So for instance, here I'll click on the uh, toggle. So this is actually in build mode, but now it's in discussion mode. So how can I make my landing page more creative? Now we're not instructing it to actually change anything on the website, but we're just trying to get, you know, some ideas and inspiration on how the AI can help our design. And after we enter that in, you'll now see that it generated this really large prompt. And you can use these prompts if you wanna further extend the creativity of your design. So I do recommend to get the opinion from AI because at the end of the day, I think they're better designing websites than most humans. Now, another thing I wanna show you all is the integrations here at the top. You can also integrate Stripe and Superbase as well. This essentially allows you to store like contact information or booking appointments or any information you want from your website. It'll all be stored in your Superbase account. And you can also uh, add an integration for GitHub as well. And if you do wanna publish your work, all you gotta do here at the top is click on publish, and then you can get a, uh, a published version of your work. Now you can also add in custom domains as well. I'm not sure which provider they use actually. I think they use like Ionis. And once you click on publish, you'll then get this confirmation on the left side. I updated the design a little bit, guys. I was kind of bored, so hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> uh, here is the URL of your new websites. And this is where you can access your AI websites. If you wanna go ahead and claim the websites and add in a custom domain, you can go ahead and transfer your work over to their partner, Netlify, I think. And that's where you can also add in a custom domain onto your new AI website. So that is a general overview about how to use this platform, but let's talk about something a little bit more advanced. Let's make this like an application where we can actually use this for something. So let's hop on over to ChatGPT. 
And now I wanna ask it to create an email generator for web designers, right? So over here, I'm gonna put, I want to make an app. So here we go. I want to make an app for Bolt.new. I wanna create an email generator tool for web designers that they can use to generate leads. I want my website to generate email templates for my users. So essentially what I'm doing here is I wanna create like an application that can actually generate emails for like pretty much any type of business. And here it is. So it's now going to instruct the AI what to create. So the core purpose, the functionality description, we have the design, we have the page structure and a whole lot more. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy this now and I'm gonna paste it into the Bolt app. Now, just remember, whenever you're doing that, always start on a new page, okay? I know many people are tempted to just enter in, you know, on the page they're working on, but uh, like I said before, it'll give you better results if you start over from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter this in and see what it generates for us. And bam, here we go. So now we have this cool email lead generator. So this is my website, right? Pretty cool, right? But let's just see if this works. So here, click on generate email now. And then here we have an email generator. So here we have the business type, location, email tone, and the unique selling points. So business type, I'm in, let's just put real estate, right? Real estate, real estate. I'm in New York, all right, New York. Uh, we are in business for 30 years. And my agency name is Daryl's Agency. Here, I'll click on generate email. And now my website should generate an email. Look at that, look at that. You know, it generates a really cool email for anyone to use. And they can go ahead and click on this copy right here and then they can use this for their business. But all in all, I would say I'm really impressed with this. I mean, this looks great. Now, just remember, you can always further extend on your apps as well, just like your website. Now, in this specific case, I like this drop down, and I wanna carry this for all of these sections. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna tell them to add drop downs for each section. Can you add a drop down menu for each category you did on the email tone? Okay. So now I'm saying I want you to add drop downs to each section, just like they did for this section right here. And just like that, you'll now see we have drop down sections. Look at this. I love this. I love how easy this is. You know how long this would take with WordPress? It would take you like a long time, right? And here we can just like generate in a few seconds. It's wild. So now let's create something really creative, right? So we made a basic website. We also made an application with monetization functions, but let's create something really creative, right? So let's hop on over here to ChatGPT, and I'm gonna use this prompt right here. I wanna generate a visually creative, complex design website for Bolt.new. Can you create a very complex landing page with amazing designs and be as creative as you possibly can? Now, what's cool about this is you can go ahead and ask it to create something, and you can also further enhance and make variations of this specific script. So what I've learned here is whatever they give you right here, you can ask the AI to uh, expand on it more and more and more till you get something that's like out of the world, right? It's really crazy. And here we go. So the reason why I'm showing you all this is because I wanna let you know that you can further extend already enhanced prompts, and then you can give it different like styles, like minimalists or corporates or whatever it is you're trying to go with. So here we have the first one, which is retro. And you'll see these are very long prompts now. Here we have corporate and minimal style, right? And then lastly, we have creative retro web style, 2003 designer AI. I'm just very eager to see like what this can do, right? But uh, before we get to, uh, you know, before we get off topic, let's just go ahead and go back to our original prompt and then paste that into bolt.new. So going back over here, I'm gonna take my original prompt of the digital origami, and I'm gonna paste it in bolt.new. All right, and then we're gonna see what this generates for us. And here we go. So now we got a lot more going on, right? We got a more complex website, more design animations, more, uh, you know, more stuff. So let's take a look here. So it looks like we're generating a, uh, you know, another application to generate emails for customers, but it's just like a more enhanced version. Now notice here how we have a lot more animations and we have, you know, interactions with the mouse. So if I click on these little icons or just, you know, touch them, they kind of like go haywire. See that? All right, pretty cool, okay. Uh, scrolling down here, we have an email generator section where people can filter by category and then generate email, really cool. Scrolling down, we have these banner sections. We have the designer speaks, so these are testimonials, and it looks like you can, wow, look at that. So you can kind of like navigate through each uh, testimonial, all right. Scrolling down, we have our pricing plans. Here we have this section where it's just like a, 
you know, animations and stuff, right? We got, you know, some stuff going on. And then we have our footer here at the bottom. Now I did actually make a second version of this website. So I just use the same exact prompt. Now, when you do that, it's going to not give you the same exact website, but it'll give you something a little bit like similar, right? So here we have this website and look at that. We have this, uh, our mouse has this animation over that pretty cool, right? And then we have these animations in the back. So if you don't move the mouse, nothing happens. And when you move it, these little things go crazy, right? Cool. Here we have some other sections, right? We have a different style of an email generator. So here I'll just put in like, you know, e-commerce, right? Generate email. And then there it's gonna generate the email. All right, pretty cool. We're gonna scroll down. Below that we have our testimonials, right? Pretty cool. We have our pricing tables. We have this animation section and then our footer here at the bottom. All in all, right, it's a pretty uh, pretty amazing looking website. Now, let's talk about the last feature, which is probably the most important. Let's talk about how to store all this information to a database. So whenever someone enters in a contact form or they integrate a booking form or they subscribe to your newsletter, we need to store the information in a database. So this is just the AI creator, it's not the database. So we need to sync it up with a platform called Superbase. So here at the top, you have integrations and here I'll click on Superbase. Now, if you don't have an account with Superbase, you can sign up for free. Okay. So I've already made an account with this website and all I got to do is just authorize it. So this is actually my account. So I'm going to authorize Bolt and I'm going to connect it with this one here and click on connect project. Now, what this does here is that it syncs up your website with Superbase. Once you do that, then you can instruct it to uh, store the contact and information. So now that it's connected here at the bottom, we have this, um, this subscribe box, but what I'll do here, I'll, I'll go a step further. I'll just ask them to create a contact form and integrate that contact form with Superbase. All right, so now we have this contact form that I created with AI, right? So now we have this form. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this form now. Now, in order to make this work, we need to open this in a separate tab. Okay, I'll select my budget and this is a test. Here, click on send message. All right, cool. So now we're going to check our Superbase account. So let's go over here. Okay, so here's my Superbase account and I'm going to go over here to table editor. This is where the AI will generate tables and store the information. So if I click on that under the contact form submissions, you're going to see this new submission, dwilson123 at 123.com. Here is web design, we have the budgets, and here is the message. Now, I know this isn't like the best visual way to look at messages. Um, hopefully in the future, you can go ahead and you know update this UI. Now you can also go a step further here and you can integrate this tool with something like n8n.io. This essentially is AI automation. So essentially when something happens on your websites, you can instruct this website to do anything, right? So it can contact you on your website, on your Gmail, on your WordPress website, wherever. I will be having a tutorial on this platform very soon. And this will help you like automate the process when you get contacts on your website. So overall, I would say these AI websites are actually quite interesting, right? To make this from scratch with some sort of page builder, this would take you a very long time, right? In fact, with WordPress, you probably couldn't make this, right? So uh, you'd have to use some other platform to make this, but with AI, you can make it in a matter of seconds. So in my personal opinion, I do think these AI tools are the future. I think like in the next like two years, these tools are gonna get better and better and better. And eventually they're gonna replace things like WordPress or Shopify or something else because now, um, those other platforms, they're just not moving at a fast enough pace to be efficient compared to these new AI models. And once these become more stable and more mainstream, I can see people easily leaving other CMS platforms like Wix, Squarespace, just hopping over to AI, just generate something in five seconds and be done with it, right? But let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If there's anything that I missed or anything that you wanna talk about, if you wanna talk about my channel or AI or my hair, whatever, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to all of your comments. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video. Take care.